Tonight we're hearing from UC San Diego grad students about six weeks after their strike for better pay and work conditions ended. Thousands of them across the state reached a deal with the University of California, but some of the students say professors are now retaliating for going on strike. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez talked with some of these students to find out what's going on and what they plan to do. Students tell me they're being punished for striking and claim decisions made by their professors could affect their careers for years to come. It was the largest academic strike in U.S. history. UC grad students across the state took to their campus sidewalks and streets demanding fair working conditions. I started striking with everybody else and two days into the strike, I got the first phone call from my advisor. Um, who suggested that, you know, if I continued striking, there might be consequences to me. UC San Diego and grad students like Daniel Primosh say they're seeing those consequences now. He and at least 20 other UCSD students say they received unsatisfactory grades for their research or TA classes. The unsatisfactory or U grade can have lasting impacts. We can fall out of proper academic standing, which threatens our ability to continue working at UC San Diego and to receive our PhD. Along with that, it means that we are going to have to TA for more quarters. Hannah Castro is a chemistry TA who was involved in the strikes. We see this as a very unfair and very clear cut case of unfair retaliation because we clearly only got these U grades because we were on strike. Retaliating against grad students for striking is illegal in California. Students have filed grievances with the school to get the U grades changed. Going to these actions, knowing that we have more planned, I think it definitely at least shows that we all have each other's back. When I reached out to UC San Diego tonight, they responded with a short statement, but did not respond to the grades or accusations of retaliation. The school simply said the university is following the appropriate procedures to respond to the grievances. Jasmine Ramirez, CBS 8.